the first time it's happened, and I am not doggone happy about it. So I ordered what is clearly a calendar from the shape, and what, out of my ignorance, uh, solipsism, I expect that they would put some sort of rigid backing in order to protect the calendar, but I got a message saying that this was delivered, and it was literally folded like a taco shell in my, in my mailbox. I couldn't believe it. Like, I'm genuinely bothered by this. Now, this is a used copy of the Dragonlance calendar, but that doesn't mean it should be, like, destroyed in the process of getting it, right? I, it, I just I don't understand why anyone would do that. Not only why anyone would package it the way they packaged it, but why the mailman would then just say, oh, I just gotta fit it in there somehow. Oh, look at all this. Just sweep that up in a second. Oh, and the mad irony of wrapping it after it's been folded <laughs> drives me crazy. Okay, I'm gonna not lose my mind over this because, hey, <laughs> it, it's a mail time and my mic isn't even plugged in. That's how frustrated I am. So let me plug my mic in so the sound may change. Mic is plugged in. <laughs> oh man. So we've got another Dragonlance calendar, and magically, it doesn't look like it's damaged at all. They didn't fold it along along you know this axis. They folded along the logical axis, which is good. Now it's wrapped like a Papa Murphy's pizza. They got to try to figure out how to <laughs> unwrap it here without damaging it further. Oh my goodness. You know what? Let's just do it the old school way. I'm just tearing it. It's a little bit warped, but it's no worse for the wear, I will say. Oh, those colors. Look at those colors. That is beautiful. No matter how many times I see a dragon high lord riding his dragon, I never get sick of it. There's like a little schmutz here. I'm going to have to work on getting off gently. Uh, there is a little bit of creasing folding you see here on the binding. Which is not... Looks like maybe it's because they tried to fold it that way. And didn't work very well. A few dents and stuff. But this is used. So I expected it to be somewhat damaged. And I'm okay with the damage in general. I just want to make sure it's as good quality as possible so I can enjoy it. And oh my goodness. Probably the best Minotaur painting ever painted. Arguably. By Brahm, of course. Minotaurs. Now this was actually for a supplement. Um, it was released. Like a d, d gaming supplement. Well, and, and because this is the 1992 calendar, this is the first time I'm looking at it, interesting new way of showing the Dragonlance logo. Um, not a big fan of that typography, but that's okay. I mean, the artwork is what you're getting it for, though, right? I had one of you audience members tell me that you can always reuse calendars because, you know, depending on the year, the dates come back around the same. And uh, I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> Honestly, I was just thinking about these in terms of the artwork. Tannis the Shadow Years. Look how badass Tannis looks. <laughs> uh, that was a good book, too. Not too shabby. That was great. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, yes. I've seen this image before. This is Dragon's Rest. That's great. I get it flat so you get less glare here. I like this because, I mean, not only are you seeing this really great volcano in the background, but it looks like a feeding ground. You know, I dig that. See Fred Fields right there. Ah, oh, Galen Benighted. <laughs> that was good too. 
it's crazy how many books we've read from this one campaign world. Just how many there are in general. Oh, other lands. This is a great, great, great photo or photo painting. I love this so much. I've never actually run a well put together water based campaign. Like not once. It's always been on land or in the air. Is that weird? Have you guys? I love this. Gates of Thorbarden. Grelin, son of King Duncan. Who needs dental work? Okay, now another one of Brahms that is just got to turn it sideways to appreciate the truth, the true majesty of this. Brahm is just amazing. Such a great photo. <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying photos. I'm still flustered from the mailman. <laughs> Folding my doggone poster. And this is great! Oh my gosh! Fire Minion! Yeah! That is so tough. You don't walk away from that guy. <laughs> He's gonna ruin your breakfast. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and Flint the King! This happened right before Dragons of Autumn Twilight, if you didn't know that. Really funny. He was held captive for like three years by gully <laughs> dwarves. Oh, Flint. And of course, Weasel's Luck. Great, great painting. I love this because we get to see a swamp atmosphere, which we don't really see much in these paintings ever. I always like the diversity. Kaz the Minotaur. This is a great one. Another great Minotaur painting. Oh, yeah. Riverwind the Plainsman when he got the staff from Zach Saroth. That's great. Stormblade. This is a great painting, too. I love the atmosphere. You get the scope of, like, depth of mountains. It just opens the land up visually. It's really nice. And that is it for this calendar. So, this is the 1991. I was wrong. I said 92. It's the 1991 Dragonlance calendar. Folded in my mailbox. <laughs> but, eh, not too shabby anyway, right? It's not hurt too bad. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I hope you have a fantastic day, and don't let your mailman fold your calendars. Till next time, Slanjavar.